Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. My name is Damien Levy. Forex Swing Trading Trades and Pending Order Strategy. Free forecast for next week. In this video, I will show you here the major pairs chart with the exact levels where I expect a bounce or a reversal trade this coming week. You can take note from the video the different levels to take. This represents the 8 major pairs. Hi everyone, so here we are on the forecast of next week and we are the 1st of March 2020. We have AudioSD at the monthly level of support right here and we have this very nice pin. So I would expect the price to bounce again from this and at least reach the first level of resistance that I have here. <coughs> and continue in the downside direction. As I said before, for me Australian dollar is quite weak and uh, we are in a daily downtrend, daily, weekly and monthly also strained going down. Now let's look at gold. So gold just hit a monthly level of resistance and now it makes a daily move with kind of a strain going in the downside direction. So overall I still believe gold will continue to climb up but we have only one level of drop, two level of drop right now. We have a nice week and it's a 50 EMA so price might come back up from this 50 EMA and eventually continue to drop down until this monthly level of support. And this is where I still want to buy gold at this specific level of support. And if this level break, I will be ready to buy at this next level right here. So that's my bias for gold. And if it continues to go up from the 50 MA, if it continues to go up, I expect to take a bounce reversal trade right here, which is a strong level on monthly chart. Now let's look at Euro USD from my previous forecast. Touch the monthly level of support right here. And aside of make a little retracement, it made a huge retracement all the way up with big candle. This one, for example, which means the price is likely to bounce. If price come back down, I expect eventually a bounce from here. Continue to here, eventually to M formation. But we are still in a downtrend since this swing has no turning point inside. And the, la the high is right here. So price might come up all the way to here, reverse on the downside direction. And I believe around this first white line or eventually this yellow level of support right here. For now, that's what I would expect. Since this level is like a V-shaped formation, uh, I expect the price to make a change in the trend from down to up or eventually a ranging market for a while right here. Now, here we are on GBP. The US made a kind of a pin bar, not totally confirmed, at the next weekly low right here, this weekly low. So price make a pin, but the daily is obviously a downtrend, sorry, since the price close below this last turning point. So what I would expect is eventually a reversal at my white line right here, continuing to the downside direction. And if it breaks this one, the next level to sell would be here. And at this specific level, this is a monthly level of support. So I can expect a bounce from here. But since we're in a daily downtrend, uh, it might continue to go down to the next level of support right here and bounce from there. That's my expectation on GBP USD. Okay, here we are on New Zealand USD. So New Zealand USD, as I said last week, we were in downtrend and it continued in the downside direction, but it hit my monthly level of support right here, create a wide pin bar right here. It's not confirmed as a pin bar because the pin is only less than 50% of the total length of the candle. But I still expect from this monthly, since I see a nice relation, the price to come back a bit lower and reject on the upside direction. And we might catch a move until this specific level, continuing continuing to the downside direction and possibly making a W right here or continuing to go down. Okay, so here we are on USD CAD. Price close above the monthly turning point, which is right here. Price is close a little bit above, which might imply that the price will continue in the upside direction. So what I expect from this week on USD CAD is eventually, since we have a very big pin bar 
the strength of this pin bar might make the price retrace quite more. So eventually this monthly level of uh, support, and if not, maybe this turning point, or eventually break all the way down to this level of support on the monthly chart. So we take note that the daily and the weekly chart now are in an uptrend. And if price break up and break this specific very nice pin bar on the daily, uh, I have those two level of resistance on the monthly to get for a sell right here. That's it for USD CAD. Now, USD GPY, we were up on the uptrend on the daily chart right here, and it broke this low. So now we are on a daily downtrend and daily and weekly downtrend with a very huge candle on the weekly chart. So I expect to take a sell at this level, monthly level of resistance, and if it breaks eventually, on this white line, daily level of support and resistance right here. And since we have a very strong move going down, I don't expect this line to hold much, except from tomorrow Monday, and continue to the upside for, for a little while, retracement, and after this retracement, continue to fall down, break this level, and continue to the next, at least, monthly level of support right here. That's my expectation for USD GPY. Now, USD CHF. So USD CHF, we took a very nice trade from here, and this is a winning trade from last week. A sell. We took the same on Euro, we won it too. On the weekly chart, we are in a downtrend. On the monthly chart, too, because this candle closed below this turning point. So we are in downtrend. Monthly, very strong on the downside direction. And if we ch check on the weekly, the weekly is also clearly a downtrend. And the weekly candle of last week is very strong going down. So my expectation is to take a sell. This level might be a bit too too close, but eventually the second for an opportunity in the swing trading strategy. But since we have a pin bar at this low, this one makes like a triple bottom, and it might go further away from that. It might retouch eventually the previous high right here, the last high. So that's it for all the major pairs for next week starting tomorrow and I hope you take advantage of it and you learn. Also take note that in my signal right now there is also a position trade signals every week for a consistent slow uh, profit during the month. Additional to all the mentorship free alert about the levels and how to trade the swing trading trade and uh, also the pending order envelope strategy. To summarize to have access to all the 40 plus pairs that I analyze weekly, join my Telegram channel and become my apprentice. You will also then get access to the alert Telegram channels where you will be alerted in real time when a level is near to take. When you become my apprentice, I will also review your trade to make you improve your trading weekly. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the link are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.